Hey guys, I'm Jordan and this is Jay's Corner. So this week we're talking about something that's been an issue in communities that I'm involved in specifically, and that is the relationship between people of color and law enforcement. So for this video, I'm doing another FaceTime chat, and this is going to be with my friend Jamal, and we're just going to talk about the relationship between you know black people and police and how we think that that relationship could be improved. I don't feel <laughs> negatively towards law enforcement um but i feel like just like with any other job there are like good apples and bad apples and i feel like a lot of times it's just the bad apples get a lot of the spotlight how do yeah. you feel um so historically this has been a problem between the two um if you i mean get just gone all the way back to before we had cameras i mean like social media and you know everything i mean we had the whole rodney king situation in la back in the 90s um the civil rights movement i mean like we had so really i think more so than anything it's, it's not something that really ever went away it's just something that um because now we have social media um now we have we have more cameras more eyes the availability of these kinds of things uh, it's just i won't say it's coming to light more but we're catching it more often um, we're catching it way more often than we than we used to catch it, um, and so and that's kind of really I think that's my whole take on it. Uh, I mean, it's like you said, we, there are good there are good apples and there are bad apples. Just like with any job, you you can't be bad at your job, you know. Especially like if you are a law enforcement official, um, you can't. That's something that you really can't be bad at because you literally hold at times you're you, you literally hold the life of other people in your hands and so that's you know that's the thing that we um are seeing now is that um the use of deadly force is kind of it seems kind of it seems really sudden and it seems really really quick to to happen uh because we are talking about uh the lives of other people um and so and most importantly we're talking about the lives of of black people and when you look at it you know statistically um the violence and the the rate at which uh officer involved shootings are happening are, are skyrocketing they're they're up across the board and when you look at who it's happening against minorities and, and people of color um it's it's gonna it's proportionately it's proportionately higher than it would be against whites because we are the minority and so uh, the rate at which it happens is higher, even though um, necessarily more uh, white people may get shot every year than black people. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that I mean, like when you look at it like that, it's it's really it's it's a problem across. I mean, it's a problem. It is, and then I feel like, like you said, social media just kind of I feel like amplifies it a little bit because this is definitely something that's been going on. It's not like yeah. all of a sudden there have been issues with the black community and law enforcement it goes back to really before civil rights you know so I, I feel like now with with the way that social media is and how people are able to talk about things and share things you know really like instantly so by the time that you know law enforcement is ready to even release a statement to talk about what happened thousands millions of people have already seen it they, they've already formed their opinion you know and, and that's just kind of the way things are and that's just where technology is right now but how do you think that there could be an improved relationship between the black community and law enforcement? Um, I think what you see is you see a lot of um, a lot of times people are scared, like afraid for their lives. A lot of these officer involved shootings, when they happen, it's because they're afraid of you know, like they they feel like they're in danger because they're out of their element. They're not in areas that they're comfortable in. And I saw one person say, and I read something, and actually not one person, I've read it many times. People say that you should put officers who grew up in those areas in those areas because they know how to better police them and they know how to they know how to better patrol them and, and to react in those situations. And I know this isn't this isn't gonna fix the problem one hundred percent, but it could, you know, it, it certainly helps when you see a familiar face in your area. You've got to talk, you've got to communicate. Um, parents have to communicate with their kids. Uh, they have to teach their kids how to, you know, how to behave when they come in contact with law enforcement. 
Um, and, you know, law enforcement officials have to communicate with their, uh, with, you know, with their employees, their officers, their deputies, things like that. They have to communicate with them with how to interact uh, with, with people in, in different communities. And so that's kind of how it has to be. And then everyone has to come together. I think you get a, you can hammer out a lot of the problems when you communicate. Um, and a lack of communication is where you, you go wrong. Um, and so it starts at different levels, but I think communication is ultimately, uh, I think that's the, the most important answer here. Uh, because once you communicate and you understand one another and you understand how to, to proceed and how to do things, um, then that's when I think you start to see improved relations and you start to, you know, you, you're not as afraid when you get pulled over and the officer's not as afraid when he comes up to your car. I agree with you. And I feel like a lot of, like, the way that that the message has been kind of shifting, it's like, I feel like a lot of times people are feeling like white officers don't like black people, you know? And, and I need, one important thing is I have been pulled over several times and I'm not, I, I just... Not that I have like a metal foot or anything, but I've been pulled over a couple of times. And I've always had very, um, I, I don't want to say necessarily like nice interactions, but they've always been, yeah. you know, pretty calm, pretty cool, pretty collected. Um, and I feel like it all starts with how you also treat that officer because there have been so many situations that I've seen on Facebook, on Instagram, just all across social media where a person will get pulled over by an officer and instantly pop off instantly on Facebook live like you know and I feel like there has to be a level of respect both ways and that communication is going to have to work both ways because even if you know like say even if you're not in a situation with an officer and you go up to any other person having an yeah. attitude you can't expect them not to have an attitude back yeah it's, uh, you treat people how you want to be you want to be treated um just there's this negative connotation that comes with them and like not your so, yeah and so instantly what we what we go to is um you immediately go on the defense and you are like you wonder you know um you just pretty much prepare for something to go wrong and you can't really prepare you can't really prepare for that i can't make myself form an across the board negative opinion of law enforcement because yeah. i know that if something bad happens to me like I'm calling 911 and I want them to be at my door in 30 seconds, you know, like, yeah. I know that there might be a situation and that's who I'm going to rely on, but, I mean, just, I mean, like, and I, but I also don't want to, to paint the picture that all law enforcement is good because I know that that's not the case, like, yeah. if there, if, and I saw a post one day, and I'm going to paraphrase the post, but it said that, you know, people dislike law enforcement because, you know, police officers specifically because they have done things that people do not like. Like, you rarely hear people saying, I hate the fire department. And that's true because, you know, and that's, that's just how, that's how it is. That's the way that, you know, the world is right now. But, I mean, I'm hopeful that things will get better um, as time progresses because, the thing is, like, the thing is, you can't really control when people have, like, hate in their heart, you know? And yeah. And I feel like a lot of times, you know, if people are uncomfortable in a situation and they feel like their their life is in danger in a situation where um, it might just be because it's someone of the opposite race and they're, you know, maybe you're a neighborhood you're not as familiar with, um, I feel like, I don't want to necessarily say, like, that person is a racist for feeling, you know, afraid of a black person, but I think that there is some like underlying prejudice there. It's not necessarily hate and in those thoughts, it's just that you just gotta work through those thoughts and you've gotta learn, you've gotta grow, you've gotta be willing to learn, um, and you've gotta be willing to trust people. That's, I think, the biggest thing. Do you think there should be more training for police officers? Definitely. Um, I think so. Definitely. They should be. You should have, not only should you have to go through field training, but you should have to go through, um, you should have to learn how to interact with people because the majority of the time you spend your time, I mean, like when we watch these videos of, of officers and, and, and civilians, a lot of the times that they're, they're communicating with them and they're talking to them, you know, they're giving them commands and responses. Um, but when the camera's off, when you're not in those situations, like, how are you communicating with people? Um, you know, like, how are you speaking to them, like, when you're passing them on the street or whatever? And, you know, like, even sometimes, like, when I pass an officer or an officer passes me, like, they'll wave at me, you know? And I think that that, I think that even that is important, just waving at 
civilians as you pass them, you know, lets them know that, like, you're still, like, you're still human, you know? Like, we, yeah. because we, because we see police officers and we see law enforcement officials as this, this, more so as a thing than, than a person, right. waving and speaking, waving and speaking goes a long, like, a long way. It's because it's, like, this person is still human. Like, this person is a human being. Like, this person, you know isn't like this person isn't just out to get me you know so it's it's that i feel like that's the thing that kind of gets forgotten like cops are people too like they have good days they have bad days they feel things just like everyone else yeah um but it's just that because of the level of responsibility that they have and like you know their job that they chose you can't let your bad days Mm -hmm. you know allow you to kill someone like that's just i mean yeah that that's just what it is like and that and i feel like that's what what people forget is you know these cops are people too just like us you know they want to make it home at the end of the night like i know good cops you know i know several good cops and because of my job like i work with these people yeah. often but i just it, it's unfortunate um because i feel like i feel like I, I i just i desperately want for people of color especially to have you know that trust like i i want i want people to feel like if something goes wrong like you can call police and ask for help and I, I want to believe that you know they will be willing to help you in any way that they can and you know yeah. then the world will be all like rainbows and sunshine but that unfortunately that's just not how it is and I don't know how long it'll take to get there because there are there are hateful people out there and there are people that that don't want it to, to get to that point yeah it sort of seems like every time it sort of feels like uh, the like our society is moving towards a, a more mutual respect between one another, uh, between races. It's something always happens, and it's just like, oh, then you have to remember, like, oh, like people like that still exist. Like people who don't want, you know, who don't want to live in the same space as as black people still exist. And that's not just with police officers. That's just that's with anything. Um, and so, like, every now and then, you just not even every now it's every single day it it feels like we're constantly reminded um that we either for some reason can't live in the same space with one another or people don't want us to live in the same space with them all right you guys thank you so much for watching again this week if you have any thoughts on what we just discussed or if you have any ways that you think that the relationship between people of color and law enforcement could be improved please make sure to drop that down in the comments down below but that's all i have for this week please like share comment and subscribe and i'll have new content for y'all next week bye guys